From the air, the diamond light synchrotron in Oxfordshire looks somewhat like a donut. So, using donuts and a few other tasty treats, we're going to show you how diamond produces beams of light 10 billion times brighter than the sun. Let's look inside. To generate light, diamond has to accelerate electrons to near light speed. First, the silver balls, electrons, are fired from an electron gun through a cathode ray tube, like those found in old televisions. Then, inside a booster ring, magnets pull the negatively charged electrons round the donut until they reach top speed. The electrons are now moving fast enough to enter the big ring. This ring is a polygon. While ours has six delicious sides, Diamond itself has 24. In all the synchrotrons, light was gathered from electrons as they went around corners. In Diamond, the most intense light is created as the electrons whiz along the straight sections of track. The light travels down beam lines towards the samples the scientists want to look at. So how do electrons create light? It happens when magnets pull electrons around a bend, and it's due to two fundamental laws of nature, conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. Momentum tells us how much power a moving object has. If two balls moving in opposite directions and at the same speed collide, then to conserve momentum, they must depart the collision in opposite directions. When a magnet pulls an electron around a bend, the same thing happens. Because the electron is changing direction, it has to send something off in the opposite direction. Like a Formula One car squealing as it goes around a bend, the electron releases light. But in diamond, the brightest light is not made at the corners, but on the straight sides. Magnets, the Kit Kats, push and pull the electrons so they move in a wiggle, producing intense beams of light. The light travels down a beam line and is focused through a minty lens. The atoms in the raisin disrupt the light beam. It diffracts and lands on a sensor. The pattern the light forms on the sensor can be used to reconstruct the structure of the atoms and molecules inside the sample. Then, the synchrotron gets eaten. One, two, three, 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 three.